What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out of the range and today we're gonna have some fun with this little guy. This is the Smith & Wesson 629 Performance Center 44 Magnum. Smith & Wesson saw how much fun I had with the 327, 357 Magnum, so they decided to send this little guy over for me to have some fun with. It has a 2.6 inch barrel and it's chambered in 44 Magnum. So as you can imagine, it's gonna have a little bit of recoil, hold six rounds of 44 Magnum, Fixed front sight, adjustable rear sight, single action or double action. The cylinder has no flutes in it. I love the way that looks. And it normally has a really pretty wood grip on it. But today I stuck a rubber grip on it because I knew I was gonna be shooting it quite a bit. And the wood grip is much shorter, more for concealed carry. And this has got extra room for me to get an extra finger on there. I'm really excited to try this thing out. So let's go get set up and get started. As usual, we're gonna start out with some steel targets, but today I've got a few new steel targets I wanna show you. I've been wanting to get a few of these for quite a while and shootsteel.com was nice enough to send them over to us. They're Magnum poppers. I'm gonna be using some Underwood ammo, 44 Magnum, 245 grain full metal jackets. Let's see how much pop this thing has. That's not bad at all. How about a popper? <laughs> Pulling a little, little. I forgot there was only six in there. See if we can hit the popper. I think that's it. Yeah, I didn't lose count that time. Okay, that's enough steel targets. I know a lot of you are wondering where is Full Auto Friday? Scott, why are you making a video about a revolver on Friday? Well, Full Auto Fridays are gonna start back Next Friday, I've just been letting the full autos rest a little bit. We definitely put them through their paces all year long. And also I've been looking for more ammo. Really hard to find right now, but I think we're gonna be all set and we're gonna resume next Friday. All right, let's start out with one gallon of mayonnaise and six pounds of nacho cheese. Nacho cheese. What the heck just happened? <laughs> no reaction at all. That was a 300 grain hollow point. All right, let's try one more time. Man. Well, I guess we shouldn't shoot nacho cheese or gravy with anything smaller than 500 Magnum. Oh, that's better. There you go. I got two rounds left. <laughs> One more round. Oh! Now I have two little two pound buckets of neon slime. This should be pretty cool. Push all this nastiness out of the way. I used up on my 300 grain jacket at hollow points, so now I've got some Underwood ammo, 240 grain jacket at hollow points. Oh! Oh my gosh! Ew! Oh, that's just nasty. It's mixing together with the mayonnaise. Ew! This cabbage has been out here a really long time. I haven't shot any of this in a while. This is 10 pounds of clay. Oh, oh my gosh. It's all over my pants. 
Look. <laughs> God. These winter days are really starting to get old. It gets dark so fast. I mean, look at what time it is. It's real man time. That last one was really old and I'm really glad it did not explode all over me. That table is really disgusting and I really don't want to clean it off. If you want to see more of the Argo, you need to swing over to Kentucky Custom. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. I had a lot of fun with the Smith & Wesson Performance Center 629. I really liked it a lot, but then again, I'm a sucker for any kind of hand cannon with a short barrel. What did you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video as much as I did, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And be sure to check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.